you have a unique perspective and I would say unique challenge representing, and you did this in the, the House and, and now in the Senate, representing the state of Mississippi. Uh, this is one of the most obese uh, states in the country, heart disease, uh, up there in heart disease, up there in, in a lot of these health, um, negative health rankings. Uh, give us your perspective there, and, and also if you can, I know there's a success story in Hernando, uh, Mississippi, so why don't you just, just talk in general about the challenges of representing Mississippi on these issues, and then what you're seeing that's going well uh, on the local level. You know, I guess every state, um, I mean, out of the 50 states, somebody's got to be first in obesity. It happens to be my state. Uh, but look, walk through an airport, walk through a county fair, <coughs> go to a Walmart. Our whole society is, uh, is obese, and we spend $190 billion dollars a year in health care cost because of obesity related um, uh, diseases and of course in Mississippi this is hypertension this is stroke this is the preventable part of diabetes and um, and so this is where um, we have to commend towns like Hernando Mississippi in the Memphis suburbs for uh, what, what I guess I would call small ball. You know, uh, you, you like to go for the home run and that's really what I want us to do with cures. But Fernando, uh, Mississippi, beautiful little small town. Uh, they decided that they wanted to, to make an effort and so they implemented a complete streets policy. Uh, they they uh, implemented before it got cool and no smoking ordinance and enforced it mandatory helmet use for, uh, uh, for cyclers, and basically promoting a healthy local eating without government funding and without a brick and mortar building. They did it through their farmer's market, through their food hub, uh, through a company called Fresh Foods. They have a program called Farm to Restaurant. They have a program called Farm to School. Well, um, I think a lot of people have been doing this, but the truth of the matter is from 2005 to 2011, Mississippi saw a reduction in childhood obesity of 13.3%. Small ball, but you know, if the child, if the child uh, is not um, obese in those early years, they have a far, far better chance of, uh, of avoiding that. And you know, in less than a decade, a 13% improvement uh, is, uh, is a real achievement. Somebody's doing something right, and I think it's uh, starting with towns like, um, like Hernando and with pastors like Pastor Michael Miner, um, pastor of Oak Hill Missionary Baptist Church. In 1996, he realized his congregation was plagued by obesity. He says, I have a funeral every week. And obesity is a factor. He took dramatic action for a southern preacher. Guess what he did? He banned fried chicken at church suppers. And he set up a walking track around the church perimeter. He's been featured in the New York Times in an article entitled Preaching a Healthy Diet in the Deep Fried Delta.